we are back. And we're down to two ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone else eliminated. All the flights have been booked and most of the tour is in Miami, South Beach, Ocean Drive, including Iga, Big Bad Iga. The internet has no pity for the injured Polish woman. Poor Iga. She clearly was injured. Her ribs, her core, her shot making ability hindered. Iga, get well. Best wishes from good energy. And if you happen to repeat at the Miami Open, I will call Amazon and reorder my 25 Polish flags for the victory parade. Yes, in America, we will be celebrating Queen Iga. From Kazakhstan, six foot tall, she's got rockets. NASA's gonna be regulating this matchup. She's got more aces than the USPC in her back end, so strong I think I saw her on the SFC. Rebike in a 40, Russia zero. She's a Wimbledon champion and she's 15 and four on the year, but can she get 16? She's come through Indian Wells like it hasn't been nothing. She took out big game Sophie, made her hop on a jet early, reservations to Miami. Vamos, Paula Badosa was no match, she took her out in two. Vavara was a little tricky, but fellow countrywoman sent packing. Mukova tried to dance with her serve and volley, but the hamstring was no match for the heat seeking missile straight laser beams in Iga. What had what had happened? She said it was her ankles, her ribs, I don't know what it was, but she couldn't hang with the bombs. Say what you want about Atlanta, but just don't say that wasn't an ace. Ace. Lena Ryba. She's averaging six aces per match and winning 83% of her service games. She's winning 29% of her return games and getting 76% of her first balls in play. She breaks opponents when they're pressured at 40% and she is saving a whopping, astonishing, amazing 61% of her own break points. From Belarus, she's the current and reigning Australian Open champion. She's finally arrived. She's 17 and one on the year and she has destroyed the competition here at the Indian Wells. She took out Rodina in the first set and then in the third round, what had, what had hap? Whoa. What the f Let's play the blame game. Mr. Good Energy, can we please just keep this to tennis, please? Can't we all just get along? Just remember, we're much bigger than the physical realm. Arena Sabalenka, she's getting the job done. She's winning 87% of her service games and 39% of her return games. She's getting 74% of her first serves in play and she's breaking opponents when they're pressured at 44%. She is saving a whopping, astonishing, amazing, unbelievable 74% of her own break points. Arena Sabalenka keeps coming and coming like the Energizer Bunny until you 
break and we're gonna see if Elena Ryba can get the job done for the first time ever. Elena Ryba's good, but Sabalenka scares me. Sabalenka first set money line. Sabalenka's undervalued here due to Rabikina's huge win over Iga. Elena Ryba can dish it, but she's going to have to show that she can take it. Sabalenka takes the first set. Gas up the jet, guys. We're headed to South Beach. Vamos! No habla espanol. He won five titles last year and he's still a teenager. Whoa. Before the rib injury, we saw him take out the U.S. soap in New York City, turn into a Spanish parade. He won the ATP Masters in Madrid, Barcelona, Miami, and Rio de Janeiro. No bueno unless it's bueno Aries, he's back at it again winning championships. He would have defended the real chip if he didn't injure his leg, Cam Nori got gifted the title. He's the future of tennis and if you think you know then I don't think you know. He's 13 and 1 on the year and the only time he can lose is if he injures himself. He's Felix had to win the point 10 times and still lost it. Ouch. And Felix is super duper big time. Big Foe said he's normally the most athletic player on the court. <laughs> Except when he plays Carlos. Let me see you be Novak and Nadal in the same year. Whoa! He's so focused. How does he have time to date? Maria's a hottie, but the only thing Carlos is holding is to love. And his opponent from the Federation. He's gonna have to bring his A game today. Six foot six. He's not Jordan, but he's got three titles in 23. He started things off with Rotterdam, Doha, and Dubai. He's a master champion. He's a 2020 finals winner and we saw him put the rockets on Novak. He had no answer. He's 27 years old and he's no stranger to winning. He's got 19 championships. 19. Oops. <laughs> he averages six aces per match and he wins 75% of his first serves. He wins 52% of his second serves and breaks opponents when they're pressured at 51%. He saves 67% of his own break points. But he's the underdog. Can he hold serve against Carlos Alcarez? Carlos is so fast, he moves opponents from front, back, side to side, like a new dance move or something. But the pick is for Danny Medvedev to get the victory on the upset money line. <sighs> How do you beat the computer at its own game? 
I have no idea how he'll do it, but he'll get it done. This is good energy. Thank you guys for 1.5 million. You are the real winners.